Well, well, Goodman Ambrose. Yes? Is there something I could do for you? I heard you were about to leave for Kuttenberg. Hi. So Sebastian von Berg ordered new clothes and he won't settle for anything but the best. I have to go and buy some fine linen, brocade and other things. I'm taking 600 groschen to pay for it all. I'll make him the finest garments ever. Ah, I see. Well, Sir Sebastian's a man who doesn't like to be disappointed. True indeed. I'll be on my way just as soon as the horse is shod and the wagon hitched up. Good health to you, sir. Let's have a drink together to pass the time while you're waiting, eh? On me. That's kind of you, lad. serve you. You look like a fellow who's been around. Tell me, what's going on in the countryside? Are the roads safe? Oh, it's safer in the province now. There was a pack of enemy cutthroats holed up in Pribislavitz, north of Talmberg. Mercenaries, bandits, cumans, and other rabble. But we attack them and smash them to pieces. So yes, the roads are safer now. My word. And who led the attack? Sir Radzik Kobola, the royal hetman. Let's drink to Sir Radzik. Yes, to the bold Sir Radzik Kobola. And to his loyal servant, the bold Henry of Scalitz. I will drink to you too. Bold Henry of Scalitz. Well, there was a band of brigands on the rampage in the province. They attacked the stud farm at Neuhof, killed old Smill, the owner, and torched the stables. So it's true then. I heard some talk about it, but I thought it was exaggerated. Hmm. Maybe I should take an escort with me. No, not to worry. Fortunately, I caught up with those bastards and put a stop to their pillaging. That's good news indeed. Let's drink to your accomplishment. It was no easy matter, I can tell you. They were cleverly holed up, but they weren't smart enough for me. Ha! To my wits! Ha <laughs> ha! To your wits! Here, just as you ordered. Sigismund's hordes attacked Scalitz, raised the castle, pillaged the whole area, and slaughtered a lot of people. I heard, lad. I heard. God have mercy on those poor souls. A lot more people would have died if I hadn't warned them. I took an arrow in the leg, but I still rode on to Talmberg to alert them there. Well done. I toast your determination. And another thing we can drink to. That wound still hurts. We can drink to that. Yes, to your wound. May those bastards burn in hell. May they burn in hell. Did you hear what happened in Merhoyed? No. What happened there? Some bandits attacked the locals. God have mercy. It seems that's the lot of decent folk on this earth. Some fucker thinks he can take what he wants by the sword, and there's damn little you can do about it. Ah, but the villagers weren't such an easy mark. They stood up to them and put up a fight. They even managed to take one captive. <laughs> Good on them. That's what those bastards deserve. But it didn't end with that. Some pestilence broke out, and people thought it was the plague. God have mercy on us. It turned out it wasn't the plague, though. 
Those murdering bastards poisoned the wells there. The low-down whoresons. They ought to hang. A lot of them. Let's drink to those brave souls in Merhoyet. They stood up to a pack of cutthroats and captured one. Glory to them! Not even the pestilence could break them. With the help of Brother Nicodemus, they recovered. Glory to your Brother Nicodemus too! Aye, and may trouble pass them by now and leave them to enjoy the peace they deserve. Aye, peace to all people with good souls. So, you're going to Kuttenberg, eh? That's right. That's nice. I've never been there. What's it like? That's great, lad. Grand it is. Kuttenberg is a big town. Strong walls. And more churches than you'd count on your fingers. Even the king himself has a palace there. And it's packed with people. When there's a fair, the whole town is on its feet. You've never seen the like. But the city elders are troubled now. Sigismund and his army are camped near the town. And nothing good can come of that. The devil take that damn Sigismund. He's done damage enough here already. My word, lad. What's going into you? I'm from Scalis. Sigismund's army laid waste to the place. Oh, I'm sorry. That must have been awful. Awful hardly describes it. I'd tell you about it, but first I'd have to drink. A lot. Then let's drink. I asked myself, Ambrose, I ask myself, why are we here? In a savin? Well, where else can a man find some culture in these bars? No, 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 no. I meant more like in the tavern. But why now? No, why, why, why here? Why here? Because I was waiting here before Kuhlenberg. Something like that. And why? Well, you came and started this whatever. But why did I do it? Was there a reason? Is there... Is there a plan? God's plan? Ah, the difference is this. Did you come here of your own free will? Or did you have a feeling you had to? Or the world would stop turning? No, I always have this really weird feeling. Like the whole world is just standing still, watching and waiting what I'll do before doing anything. Nobody as much as lifts a finger until I do. I used to have the same feeling when I was younger. It passed, though. Oh, but it makes me feel all uneasy and jittery, like you know, some, some jittery thing. And if I don't do something, then it stays the same. Everything stays the same. Nothing changes. I know what will help you, lad. There's nothing to it. It's easy. It's... What was it? Ah, yes! Booze. Let's drink. I won't drink. I won't be forced. But as it is, the world does what it wants with me, and there's nothing I can do about it. And uh, I was... Ah, actually, fuck it. It can't get any worse. Let's fucking drink.
Those are the words of a man. Good health. Two sixes again, just two oh. sixes, and then two more sixes. Why can't they fall together? Ever.
Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. You'll have to prize these dice from my cold, dead hand. Good God! What happened to your clothes? If you were robbed, you should report it. May the Lord watch over you. To heal, Mutt. <laughs> Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. <laughs> my breath is short, my feet are sore, I die. My humble greetings. How may I help you? I'd like to uh, order something here. Uh huh. And what do you want? Uh, I'll certainly need a physician to treat my wounds. Then a hot bath and uh, launder in my clothes. But of course. Money first, though. Fine. Here it is. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. Goodbye.
Give me something to drink, please, or I'll die. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you a hundredfold. You have a good heart. Jesus Christ be praised. How may I serve you? God be with you. I'm glad to see you. Is there anything interesting going on here? It's so peaceful, it worries me. God be with you. My breath is short, my feet are sore, I buy a horse that I am for. The sun may burn, the sun may shine, but you not with a darling mine. The sun he hides behind the cloud, his feet goes cold and his fire goes loud. Down the fishing boat with snacks, go down upon the deck. Try your fish to head best, fishy thighs and fishy breasts. The sun sets out across the sky, 
be losing his way to the full Tuttenberg is far, far away. Tuttenberg is far, here I say. My breath is short, my feet are sore, my fire is My humble greetings. How may I serve you? Well, Master Painter, are you still short of coin? Yes, unfortunately. And my offer still stands. Don't you want to buy something? Or throw a few dice? Why not? Show me what you have to offer. God be with you. Let's have a word about the price. Hmm. All right, so. Coming. Here. And uh, something for your trouble. Here we are. Well, now. Thank you very much. How much longer must I wait? Here's to a good harvest. Get his head smashed in. Hail as usual. What? Are you volunteering to get your head smashed in? That's right. Let's go. Well, I never. I wouldn't survive it. I'll have to 
lie down for a while longer. Ambrose, you hound. What got into you yesterday? Me? Nothing. We drank a bit, all right. Quite a bit. And then I went to sleep. What? You don't remember? You got as drunk as a lord. Started shouting that you were the greatest dice master in Bohemia and that you'd show everyone. No one had the nerve to tackle you, so you insisted I had to give you a game. But you lost. And then you got really worked up and wanted to save your reputation. We ended up playing until the early hours. Damn. I don't remember a thing. Did I win? Oh, oh you did, a few times. And then you lost everything. Oh, fuck. Everything? Everything. The whole 600 groschen you had for buying cloth in Kuttenberg. Christ in heaven. Oh, God, what am I going to do now? I have to get that money back. Actually, it wasn't by chance that I ran into you. It was the Virgin Mary who sent me to you. What are you talking about? Are you trying to make a fool of me? No, no. I mean it. My friend Johanka has been visited in her dreams by Our Lady. And she's been passing her message on to the people about amending their ways and repenting for their sins, like playing games of hazard, for example. You see how easily you were tempted into wagering everything you had on dice? You're bringing misfortune down on yourself and your family. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I, I got carried away. But what am I to do now? Repent and do penance for your sins. Ask God for forgiveness and swear by the Blessed Virgin never to pick up dice again. You're right. My passion for dice has gone too far. I'll do what you say. And give me those dice so they don't tempt you to play again. I'll throw them down a well where they can't put sinful thoughts in your head. But... Those aren't just any old dice that you can get anywhere. They bring luck. Well, mostly. Ambrose. I don't play with them much. I keep them hidden away for special occasions. Oh, all right. Here you are. Listen, Henry. The money you won from me, do you think maybe I could get it back? I've learned my lesson, I swear. But now I have to go and buy that cloth, and I can't pay for it. Ah, you've seen the error of your ways. That's all I wanted. I never intended to take your money. Here, have it back. And next time, be more sensible about what you do with it. Thank you, Henry. You're an honourable man. God bless you. See you later. Yeah. Henry, how did it go with the tailor's wife and her... her trouble? 
God be with you, Henry. I went to see the tailor's wife, like you wanted. Oh, and how did it go? I think it turned out well. Ambrose admitted he was overdoing it with the dice playing and promised to quit. That's great news, Henry. You've helped him and his wife a lot. Thank you. You're a true friend. I think this is exactly what the Blessed Virgin wants from us. How are things going otherwise? You wouldn't believe what happened. One of the bathhouse wenches came to me. Oh? What does she want? She said she wanted to find a different job. Something more virtuous. She said she decided to change her life after listening to me on the square. See what you're capable of? Our Lady didn't pick you for nothing. You help everyone around you. I think you're really great, Johanka. That's very sweet of you, Henry. Thank you. If only there were more like that, though. How do you mean? I mean, more people who want to find a better, more virtuous life. If only we could help them to do that. Hmm. I might know of someone. There's this prostitute in Ledechko. Adela, her name is. And how do you know her? I happened across her by chance when I was tracking the Neuhof raiders. Hmm. Don't look at me like that. She was mixed up with one of them and I had to question her. I wouldn't say she was particularly happy there either. That sounds... promising, Henry. We should try and help her. Hmm. But how? I'm not sure. But maybe we could persuade her to give up what she's doing and find a different job. If she works at the baths, she'll surely have knowledge of some basic things. What basic things? Laundry? No. She'd know about healing wounds, health-giving decoctions, bloodletting and the like. And I could certainly use a second pair of hands here. You're right. I'll head off right now. If it's the will of the Blessed Virgin, it must be done. Henry, please try and convince her. I can find a place for her here. God be with you.